Sean Clement here from the Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center and today's little tidbit this little excerpt we're going to have here is a great visual for you in the bunkers okay now I have this is our, our practice bunker here at the Learning Center right behind uh, the wall of our building here and I use the wall to uh, to make a really cool visual what we're going to be doing is painting this wall with sand all right like a canvas now this, uh, this sign right here, pay no mind to that, it just fell down because of a storm we just had. So I use it as a little bit of target. So I'm going to be sending the sand to the left of this post right here. So I'm going to paint this side of the wall. So I'm going to take my aim, open the club face about 30 degrees to activate the sole of the club. So again, go see Sean Clement uh, Bunker Sand Shots and you'll get the whole lowdown on how to use the sole of the club like a snow plow or, or a grater to move sand. So, here we go. I'm gonna move the sand right into that wall using the sole of the club. Hear that sound? So I just sent the sand right into that wall, painted it right up there. That's how, and for those of you who, who think that, oh, do I have to do something special to get over a lip? We'll show you something in, in, in a second. So let me do that one more time. Look at the space on the wall. My focus is on the wall. Feel the weight of that arm club unit. Use that weight to deliver a divot of sand into the wall. All right? Now, have a look right here on this side. <clears throat> You'll see we have our, our side net. Let me take that sand and spray the side net with it and you notice how the sand sprayed into it but had lots of space to clear right over it so that would be the golf ball the grains of sand dissipate so this is a fade we talked about how the bunker shot is played like a fade so we play the ball forward to center I still want to feel that the low point is slightly in front of the ball and I'm going to take this divot of sand, which it, the ball is a grain of that sand, and I'm going to spray the wall with this sand. And notice how the ball flew right over that net. So if I had a, a high lip bunker, I wouldn't have any issues clearing that lip. Okay? Now let's have a look at it downrange here. <laughs> All right. So here we are downrange. I set up a basket at about 15 yards, another one at 30. So we're going to be doing the same thing. What I want to visualize is a wall right about here. So I'm painting this wall right here. The trajectory is going to hit the wall and then gravity is going to pull it down into that net. So I see my little wall right here in front of me and I'm just going to pop some sand into that wall. I need less momentum for that one. There we go, just a hair over the basket. And if I do the same thing, imagine the wall a little bit further. I'm going to spray that wall, which will be beyond the first basket, between myself and the second basket. And I'm going to spray that wall. Beautiful. Over the second basket. Okay? So, it really, you'll notice you're going, wow. I'm going to take that big a swing to, yeah, you need that big a swing to move sand. We're not moving the ball here. The ball is just a grain of sand. So when your focus is on the sand, not at about, so my eyes obviously are on a specific grain of sand behind the ball, but I'm not focused on that. Everything down here is very blurry because my attention is on that wall. And I'm thinking, okay, if I spray the sand into that wall, does it feel like the ball, the, the big grain of sand, is in the way? Yes. No. No. Yes. So now my eyes are about an inch behind the ball in the sand, but my attention is on that wall, and I'm gonna sp I feel the weight of the arm club unit. Use the weight to spray that wall with sand. So it's... Um, it's a very specific focus that, you know, I don't want anything down here to be in focus. I want that out there to be in focus. So that visual really, uh, really will go a long way into helping you out. Now, 
as far as setting up your club to the ball, you've noticed that when I set up, the ball's a little bit more in the hosel. So the reason why I do that is because when I let my arm club unit go back to the sand, notice where it's passing? So for those of you who tend to hit the ball off the toe, you line up here a little bit reachy, and then it wants to hit the sand there. So if I do that, then obviously I'm gonna hit the ball off the toe and off it's gonna to go to the right. So I wanna make sure that when I, when I feel I'm gonna release the sand into that wall, I feel like I'm gonna have the, the divot of sand that includes the golf ball. Okay, here we go. Oh, here it is. Just a hair over it. Oh, I'll need to practice a little bit on that one. Enjoy that.